Welcome to the Disagreeable Nerd Podcast, a podcast where nerds from various ages and backgrounds get together to discuss movies, TV, books, and anything else that pops into their small, simple minds. Now sit back, relax, and let their ignorance wash over you. And welcome. <laughs> Did you really start it out like that? To another episode. Gosh, so serious. Of the Disagreeable Nerd. <laughs> I am your host. <laughs> I want to do something. ASMR. Gabby, no, no, Gabby, ASMR. no. Not ASMR. Please don't do that. Like, it's yeah. really bothering no. me now. <laughs> now it's going to go to your right ear. I can't take it. Because now, whenever we post this, the podcast, I'm going to have to listen to this. Now, if I was to talk like this the rest of the night, would it make you sleepy? But you're not supposed to make our listeners sleepy. <laughs> Welcome to the ASMR Disagreeable Nerd. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Gabby. I'm sure day. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really good in my headphones, just saying. Which my part? own voice. Your own voice? You're yeah. such a freak. I like ASMR. Gabby, I don't know why you listen to ASMR, because like... To me, it bothers my ears. Like I have to scratch. Well, my you ears. don't. You don't get it. You I, don't have I it. Don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. It. You don't. It, you don't experience the autonomous sensory meridian response. It seems sensual. <laughs> Wait, sensuous. Let me ta- sensuous up. Get me a soda. <laughs> get it. Sensuous. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so cringy. I'm. Whenever I hear. ASMR people talk, or I even know. you just doing. I get you're just you're goosebumps. judging. No, no, you I get ju- goosebumps. That's, that's that's what it's supposed to. Happen. No, 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 not those kind of goosebumps. I, I get <laughs> uncomfortable goosebumps. Well, that's your problem. You don't get it. I don't, and I don't get. I don't. I it watch, puts me to sleep. I like to hear them talk, and it puts so, me to sleep. I watched a twenty minute okay, video so, on, on it. If you don't know ASMR, which you probably do by now, but ASMR. It's all over YouTube, but have you if have you ever had like somebody like talk real low in your ear? No, and maybe they're <laughs> explaining something. I've experienced it, and there was a very particular person. I they would get in my ear and they start explaining something. To was me. it like your second grade teacher that got in your ear, <laughs> but their breath smelled no. really bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my fourth grade teacher that their breath smelled really bad. <laughs> They were always terrible. <laughs> they actually called the person Bad Breath and then their last name, which started with a B, which I won't say. Oh, okay. Like, like, like say it was Bishop, which it wasn't. Bad Breath Bishop. It, oh, you got Bad Breath Bishop, huh? Uh-huh. It's like, oh, that's unfortunate. It's it's terrible. Teachers a are... A severe case of halitosis. Ew! Hell, Not you something know, that happens to like teacher. I did a deep research one time on halitosis. For Do you something. need some help with your hal Okay, wait. Speaking oh of... No. Ew. No. Just flunk me. <laughs> I don't need any help. <laughs> oh, that one really cracked me up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was just thinking about it. I was thinking halitosis. about... Halitosis. Um, I went and watched Hobbs and Shaw. Oh yeah, that was that. Without you, because you didn't care to see it. Also, I was out of town. Yeah, but you didn't care to see it. That you don't t- really care too. for those movies. I, I bet if I would watch it at the house and it was on TV, I'd probably stop and sit on the edge of the couch and kind of tune in. But no, I'm not going to go out of my way to go to the theater to watch this movie. But do you, do you like the Fast and the Furious movies? I mean, they're okay. Oh, I mean, they're so. not my favorite movies, no. I mean, they're action-packed cars. That's cool. Got little funny characters. Um, it's not just about the cars. It's about the people. The people, whatever. No, see, that's the thing. Fast and Furious used to be about the cars. And now it started being about some other weird stuff. Like, I don't even know. Like, like family? No, that not family. It's always been about family. It's about family. It's always been about family. I'm talking about like the the plots has changed from from movie to movie. Drug bust generally. and not drug bust, but I don't even know. Like you know what I mean? You mean from they don't like race petty anymore. Car theft to like superheroes? No, that's not what I mean. Oh. I know what you're doing right now. What? I'm trying to prove something. No, I'm telling you that's what's happened. Oh. <laughs> so you don't know what I'm doing right now. I was trying to help you out. 
Sometimes I can't tell. I, uh, don't, I don't understand. Hobbs and Shaw, a Fast and Furious spinoff starring Vin, uh, The Rock, Jason Dwayne Johnson. Statham. I don't know if he even goes by The Rock anymore. Mm, he goes by Dwayne Jason Johnson. Jason Statham and Idris Elba and uh, Vanessa oh, yeah, Kirby. Idris Vanessa Elba Kirby. Queen Elizabeth from, no. Is she Queen Elizabeth? Wait, who? Vanessa no, Kirby. No, Queen Elizabeth's the main one. Oh, no, her no, no, sister no. Her from sister, The Crown. Yeah, I think she's pretty. Was it Margaret? Yes. Was that her name? Margaret. Yeah, she's real pretty. Princess Margaret. It was pretty, um, it was. Yeah, what were your thoughts on this movie? It was, uh, it's interesting. Okay, what that does that I mean? I don't really know how I feel. I like the guys. I love, you know, Jason Statham and The Rock, and they played Hobbs and Shaw, and their little, they bickered the whole movie like they did in the mo- the Fast and Furious 8, mm-hmm. calling each other names and all that stuff, but it was kind of a little too much. Like, I know I don't mind too much, because I like the Fast and Furious franchise. Those are ridiculous. I get ridiculous. I enjoy ridiculous. But this was kind of like, they're straight up superheroes now. Like, nothing hurts them. Oh, that ridiculous. They can fall from buildings. They can be in air, helicopter crashes. You don't think people can do that in real life? <laughs> he literally held a helicopter with one arm and a truck with the other arm and, like, pulled the helicopter towards him. <laughs> And I mean, look at the muscles. I yeah, yeah, he works I know. Out. But you know, but enough adrenaline just... can make you do anything. <laughs> he must have like truckloads of it. I think he does. And it was just, it was a little too much. It was a little. What too about much. Jason? What and did like he do? lots of punches, lots of punches lots to the face. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind some action, a good karate chop, a good punch to the face. Pile drive to the face. Yeah. But I mean, this movie had lots and lots of f- that, that type of fighting. That and, kind of thing there. I just can't and, sometimes. I mean, they, Dwayne, Jason, they just, uh, it was, they're like, they're superheroes. They don't lose. <laughs> they're fast and furious. The superheroes. only one that beat them was the uh, Idris, Idris Elba. And like, he had the strength to like punch through a van, but. When he hit them, like it wouldn't really hurt them. I mean, it would knock them down, but they ended up beating him. I honestly think that since it's the rock in it, he always has to be a winner. Yeah, it's in his contract. Oh. There was like a thing that came out about how picky they were about how many hits how many hits they would take, how many fights they would lose. Like Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson Jason Statham all have like these crazy contracts so that they look super tough, apparently. What? No way. Yes. They have crap like that? Yes. That seems kind of bizarre to me. Yeah, kind of. I'm not too crazy Don't about that. Don't make them completely. What do you, what's the word? What am I trying to say? Invincible. Invincible, yeah. Like, yeah. no. Come on, man. No, because like, I like. That's what I like about uh, Harrison Ford back in the day. Like he was always uh, getting beat up. Bruce Willis and all his move, Die Hard, like they would get beat up. Yeah, like but yet they would overcome. They we will overcome. <laughs> Pretty sure those are the wrong lyrics. What's that? I think it's like some type of Black History Month song. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went like history on you just then. Oh, did you? <laughs> you sure? I mean, let me look up. We, we will overcome. Wait, wait, no, we. Shall overcome. Let wait, wait, me. Me. let me let me hit you up real quick. Here we go. <laughs> we shall oh. overcome. It's a, it says uh, it's a gospel song which oh. became a protest song and a key anthem of the civil rights it's movement. An activist song, yeah. Look at you. We will all be free someday. <laughs> wow! Sorry. Look at you. I know a little bit of something, something. I've never heard that song before. Yeah. Where'd you hear it? I was in a Black History Month um, program once, and they played that. I was on a play, actually, and um, I was in a, here's here's what's funny, Gabby, when I was in a junior high, or not junior high, I was in a junior in high junior. school. Junior. Um, I participated in, in a fake 
protest not a protest but you know how um in 1960s where uh martin luther king led a like bunch a, of like a mock protest like like he led a bunch of people right. to the selma alabama bridge uh-huh. we basically did that through the hallways oh really and we sung that song yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't just black kids. It was everybody, like school kids. And then there was like opposite people pretending to be the opposers, you know, racist. Oh. It was kind of interesting. Hmm. We just schools pre- do that stuff, you know, black history stuff. We didn't. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Valley in Oklahoma. No, that explains it. <laughs> Let's talk about <laughs> inner space. Okay. I showed Paige this 80s movie. Okay. I love old It was movies. based on uh, our recent watching of The Intruder, starring Dennis Quaid. <laughs> we got on a Dennis Quaid kick. <laughs> so Paige was talking about Dennis Quaid this, Dennis Quaid that. She thought he was so um, interesting in The Intruder. I, it was weird seeing him in that kind of movie. So uh, I said, we're going to watch Inner Space, because I remember really liking it as a kid. And when I'm saying inner space, like I N N E R space, yes, because they go inside the body. Basically, if you remember an old, I think it's like a '60s movie called uh, Fantastic Voyage. It's the same movie. <laughs> they shrink, that. they shrink people down and stick them into the human body, and it's like them going through the blood vessels, and uh, it's kind of like honey. We shrink our kids. Yeah, I love except that except to a more well, micro say, level. Yeah, a little bit more micro. They could like atom level. You he know, wasn't quite smallest... that small. You oh. could kind of like still see him, but it was just like super small. And uh, his ship was basically the size of a red blood cell. Yes. So Super small. It starts off, um, Dennis Quaid's like kind of a washed up Air Force pilot or Navy <laughs> guy or something. He's kind of a player. And he was like, he was young. He was 30 something years old. Yes, that was so shocking. He was like 32. He wasn't even young. I mean, like, young. He was young. Well, I mean, he was like, But he yeah. wasn't a, a man. You know what I mean? Did you find him attractive? Um, he was okay. Harrison Ford is far more attractive to me than him. Okay. But he kind of had a... He had a cute look. A Harrison, uh, uh, Indiana type He had an Indiana look, act Harrison. to him. Yeah. Kind of that uh, cocky something or other. Yeah. So, anyway, he's like this washed up guy that... He, like, interrupted this party, made a fool of himself. He's all down on his luck type thing. His girlfriend, Meg Ryan's like, when are you going to get yourself together? And she runs out on him. By the way, she's, like, really pretty. Yeah, she was. I think she she's was, pretty. She was, like, known for being super cute. Yeah, she has, like, a look about her that's different. I like it. And uh, so he puts himself in this program where they're going to shrink him down and stick him in. He was supposed to go inside a rabbit, I think. Yes, he was. But then these baddies. Who came in? in? Were they? They. I don't really know. Like <laughs> I, they. They were some orange suit people. They remind <laughs> me of Ghostbusters. Was it and, explained? Um. It was the eighties. They were probably Russian. Um. They were going to steal the technology. Like that woman. I bet they were Russian. Why is everybody Russian? Because that's who. You know what's funny? Tell Russians me. go back way back to the eighties. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I know back. Russians are kind of hardcore, but um, I wonder how far back it goes, you know, to like, if you're a Russian spy, like, uh-huh. like you know, Russian spies are always in movies. You, you, you yes, it, it, there's a, you know, it's history. Yes, I know it's history. Well, you're asking how far back it goes. I know. I'm saying I wonder like how far, like, is it the 30s? Well, the World War, like, you know, World War Two. Well, that's like the 40s, 30s and 40s. Yeah. Okay. I was trying 40s. to figure out how, you know, where I mean, it all I began. think they were involved in World War One as well, but yeah, 20s, World 30s. War Two was, uh, they were kind of an ally mm-hmm. of, uh, um, no, we're going to get into history and I want to sound <laughs> I stupid. I feel like you're struggling and I feel like you need to stop. No, because it was Germany, Italy. And Japan, that was the Axis allies. And then you had the allies, that was America, Russia, and I can't remember who else. But America and Russia were basically working together, kind of, to get 
fight Germany. But then, like, after they fought Germany, then it was like, oh, well, now we're the two big ones left. Oh, so who got mad? Who got bad and, like, prideful? Well, I mean, there was like the I don't know. We're getting a, we're getting an area that I'm I don't know. I'm of. asking you questions. I don't need to talk just about say, it. Just say you don't. Because know. if I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't need to talk about it. I mean, that's that's good. Because how after World War II, I mean, then it was just like they're fighting for who's the most powerful, Russia or America. So then the Cold War started because they weren't actually fighting. It was just all like spies and subterfuge yeah. and espionage and all that stuff. Yeah. So basically, two countries that just didn't trust each other, don't uh, like each other. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, history. Nice history lesson there. Gosh, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days. So anyway, back to inner space. Back to it. We yeah. don't even know if they're Russian or not. Fiction life. We went let's through all that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so they were. For let's see, when, when for an '80s movie, I'm pretty sure that was like '87, '89. I like, I like um, 80s movies because I know it's weird. 1987. But it's nostalgic to me a little bit. Dennis Quaid, Martin Short, Meg Ryan, and others. Mark Short. You know, I didn't know who he was. Yeah, Paige had never heard of Martin Short. But you know, he is one unattractive person <laughs> I've ever. Like something about his face or something was different. You don't find him attractive. I don't find him attractive. But anyways, Inner Space the movie. He goes to microscopic level, sort of, and just enough so you can see him through a microscope. And uh, I guess he's just, I don't even know what they're testing really in these rabbits. I didn't forgot. Yeah, I don't really know what the point was. Yeah. It didn't do very budget, well. Like the budget, it says, was $27 million. Domestic box office was $25 million, So Wow. It didn't do that great. But I always liked it. But it's okay. You know, that's why you don't go by money. I mean, not bunny. Box office sometimes, like just because he didn't make a lot doesn't. It mean didn't. It doesn't say that they're Russian. It just says this other scientist, Margaret Margaret, Doctor Margaret Kanker, that plans to seize the experiment and steal the technology. So maybe it's just other scientists. I guess so. Because they didn't seem Russian. But the remember the bad guy remember with his like fake with the, hand. The fake, <laughs> the fake hand dude was really weird. <laughs> Um, that was pretty cheesy. Yeah, but the effects on the uh, in the body and stuff looked pretty I good. That I thought that was neat. That was super cool. Um, I I like pretty good for eighties. I liked the plot or the idea. Like you know, you want to get shrunk. I want to get shrunk. So out of inner space, like you know, you hadn't seen that movie since you were what a kid. Oh yeah. So what do you think about it now versus a kid? It, it it held up surprisingly well for me. Wow. Yeah. That was good. What would you rate it? Hmm. I would give it, uh, if I keep the nostalgia out of it, but I still like, it was still good. I'd give it a 6.5. Um, mine was right around there. Seven. I really enjoyed it. You're always like half a point away from me. I am. We're never connected, you know, together. Uh, I like I love old movies like that. They're kind of cheesy, but, you know, good at the same time. Yeah. The effects were good. Mm -hmm. uh, the soundtrack was decent because it was mostly like, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow go straight into your lover's heart. Wow. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> What's his name? Billy Idol. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're asking me. I don't know. The song that he starts singing, you start crying every time. Oh, I start crying? Sam something. Sam Cook. Oh, Sam Cook. <laughs> I don't start crying in that song. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Gabby, you're thinking of a different song. No, I'm not. I don't cry in Sam Cook. I just get on my knees. <laughs> I wonder if the effects would work on here on this. That's what I do. I wonder if it comes crow. Hello, hello. Oh yeah. Hey, I can hear my echo on my. Oh my god! You need to stop doing ASMR while wait, wait, we're doing wait. our podcast, no, freak. Cupid. I can oh do god. the sound effects on my machine it. here. Hello. 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 Oh, and welcome, welcome everybody. everybody. 
my god. I sound like I'm in a big auditorium. And so, welcome. So is my voice gonna sound like that? No, nah, yours is not. Oh. In fact, I'll just turn you off. How's that? Oh yeah, that's good right there. It's all me in a big stadium. Welcome everybody. Cupid, draw back your boo. This is terrible. This is a terrible podcasting, but I'm enjoying it. All right, I'm putting you, you back suck. on. And you just totally muted me out from the no. little show you just did no, there. Back that, little AS, that little ASMR. That show. had nothing to do with ASMR. I was singing. I think it was. <clears throat> Part of you it. don't. No. Yes, I do. <laughs> Shut up. I was playing with my sound effects, you dummy. <laughs> oh, okay, I think it's time to go. I think so. Why because don't we you're starting to sing some sound cook that don't sound like sound nothing. cook. Nothing. We did a bunch of nothing. But you know what though? That's part talked. of our. It's part of our podcast though. We need to talk about any, whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, we have fun talking about nothing, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you agree with that? And and we had a movie that we had to discuss. And I didn't even get to discuss the movie. I was hey, gonna talk about. I got you sounding like you're in a big hallway. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> it sounds like there's an echo. You're gonna screw up my voice. My awesome voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Do I sound cool? With the effects or what? It just sound like you were in a, like a large empty hallway. Mm, I don't know. That might sound weird. <laughs> like annoying almost uh, all right so we're gonna put this out anyway because we need content <laughs> all right everybody thanks for our zero it's been listeners. a long week <laughs> we just went negative <laughs> it's been a long week oh, yes. i'm tired charday's tired you know i work a lot nowadays i work like Same. 60 something hours a week 60 hours a week guess what 64 hours a week well i mean that's a lot i worked 64 this week um that's all we got <laughs> that's all we got what's a nothing and until next time till next time i'm gabby i'm sure day <laughs> later dude say later dudes all right <laughs> when you just say bye and i say later dude. i know i was waiting on it and you like I took a long that. pause well i was thinking about how <laughs> okay wrap it up you said it all right bye